Hey, Roman Trust here with Peak Fitness, and today, guys, I want to talk to you about taking extended breaks. So, like I stated in the introduction, guys, today I want to talk to you about taking extended breaks from your workouts. Now, first, guys, I want to apologize. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. Unfortunately, other things kind of came up and I wasn't able to get to you guys. It's not that you're not important, but unfortunately, I had to make those other uh, priorities more of a priority. Also, I do apologize for not having my normal lights available. So I do apologize, apologize about me the poor lighting, but I really want to get you guys some good quality content out right now and some good information for all those looking to lose weight or even gain some good lean muscle mass. So let's get on topic. <clears throat> so what drove me to talk about this today was is that I took an extended break from editing and shooting any videos um, and it made me think about the extended breaks that I tend to take while working out. Now extended breaks are very important for your body. Any good physical trainer, physical therapist, uh, coaches will tell you taking a, or an extended break for about a week and for some people two weeks is very necessary for a good, healthy um, body and workout plans. Now the reason is twofold. One's gonna be on a physical level and one's gonna be for a mental level. So I'm gonna talk about the physical first and then I'll get into the mental side. So when you take a, an extended break, it's gonna do a couple of things. Your body is constantly getting beaten up while you're working out, while you're, you're doing um, intense cardio is regular um, long endurance type cardio stuff lifting weights you are shocking the neuromuscular system so your nervous system is being shocked the muscle system is being shocked in fact your bone structures are getting shocked your body is constantly having to repair itself and it's a lot of stress on your body you're gonna find as if you do this too long I'm sorry about the bugs buzzing in front I can kind of see one here um, <clears throat> you're gonna find that um, that your immune system will start to get compromised and weakened and you're going to start to get um, not be able to recover from injuries as fast. You're going to maybe not get over some like colds faster. Um, you're also going to notice that your focus level is going to be lower. You're going to be plateauing when it comes to weight loss or muscle gain as well as lifting heavier weights or getting higher reps and you're going to notice that you're going to either go backwards a little bit or you're going to just become stagnant and plateau. That's usually a good sign that you need to take an extended break. Now, a lot of physical trainers or, or uh, physical fitness trainers will tell you to take an extended break between eight to 10 weeks. I, I prefer around 12 weeks for me personally. I find right around 12 weeks is a good time for me to go ahead and take a week off. Depending on how my personal life is outside of working out, it may have to be sooner. Sometimes it's a little later, but I'm, I can usually tell because I notice I plateau, my workouts are not nearly as intense, and I'm not nearly as focused or as motivated to work out. And that's a good way to go ahead and determine you need to take that break. Now, another reason is the mental aspect. Now, mentally, you also need a break. Now you gotta realize, like I said, working out is very hard on your body and it's stressful. Your body is producing cortisone, which is a fat storing hormone. Um, you're also, your body is, has to produce um, ex, um, a little bit more human growth hormone, has to produce more testosterone. It's doing all these things. It's working your hormone, uh, different hormone glands a little more frequently than it's used to. So what you need to do is give yourself that mental break so you can allow those glands to go ahead your pituitary glands your adrenal glands and everything to kind of calm back down and get back to normal <clears throat> also by giving yourself a break you're mentally able to focus on something else you give your chance your brain a chance to not have to stress or focus and be mentally focused on having to work out because you are putting so much stress on your body you almost have to encourage yourself to do it almost like you're being tortured not to break you have to will yourself. You kind of let that willpower battery recharge. Now, I believe that your willpower can never ever run out. Run out. I do realize that people can get drained mentally. You know, that's why a lot of companies like their employees to take their vacation time because it allows them to come back more focused. In fact, just a little side note: reason why a lot of companies got rid of the buying back the vacation times because they found that a lot of people wouldn't use their vacation times. They would just 
sell their vacation time back and get the money instead. Well, a lot of companies found that they were less productive. By letting them go on vacation, they came back more productive. It's the same thing here with working out. Taking that one week off will allow you to come back more focused, uh, way more motivated, and ready to hit, hit it harder. You'll actually find you'll probably be able to load up more weight. You'll probably be able to go a little bit longer and a little bit harder with your workouts. And don't worry about losing any gains. In fact, you're probably going to gain more muscle mass during that time frame. And don't worry about thinking you're not gonna lose any fat. In fact, you probably will actually lose more fat because you're not producing the cortisone levels anymore. Your body's less likely to store the, uh, the carbohydrates as fat. So you're more likely to burn more carbohydrates efficiently because you're giving your body a chance to rest. So you may notice the scale go up one to three pounds, but that's just probably water weight and nothing to stress over. <clears throat> you actually won't start having muscle atrophy or going in reverse until around three or four weeks when your metabolism will probably adjust to the stagnant lifestyle again and slow down. But up until that point, your metabolism stays elevated. So even while you're resting, you're still burning an excessive amount of calories. Um, so you still need to eat clean and healthy. You still need to be somewhat active. By somewhat active, I mean don't be just sitting on the couch. Go ahead and go for walks. Do something that's not strenuous, but you're able to keep moving. Do um, still get the proper amount of sleep and rest. Still make sure that you're doing everything you have to. Just don't work out. That's going to allow your body to still burn a sufficient amount of calories, still allow you to recover muscular-wise and, and, and uh um, nervous system wise and mentally and everything allow your hormone levels come back to normal and then that way come the end of the week you're probably gonna start feeling sluggish and want to get back in the gym you're gonna hit it harder and faster like I said me personally I like to take my week off right around the 10 to 12 week range some people will have to be sooner some be later um, depends on if you're overtrained or not if you have overtrained and you notice you get muscle burnout, you may have to take an even longer extended break, but you'll have to figure that out on your own. And one of the reasons you'll know that is, is you will actually start to get weaker in your workout. So for example, if you could normally bench press just a good round number, 150 pounds, but you notice it's getting harder and harder and harder to hit the 150 pound mark at the same rep range, then you're probably hitting muscle fatigue and muscle burnout and you need to take an extended break. And by that time, you probably need to take more than a week off, probably about closer to two weeks off to allow sufficient muscle recovery. But with that, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you get any comments or suggestions, leave those down below. Also, don't forget to click that, uh, that subscribe button and don't forget to click that bell so that way when more videos come out, you'll be notified. With that, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.